Hi, this is Mike from BandLab, and in this video we're going to make a ghetto tech beat in BandLab's free online DAW. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description. And if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. I begin by setting the project tempo to 145 beats per minute and the project key to B minor. This track is going to involve a lot of adding and removing drum parts, so I'm going to add each drum sound on its own virtual instrument track, even though I'm going to be using the same drum kit for most of them. This is because having each drum sound on its own track will make arranging the project much quicker and easier. I start by adding a virtual instrument track and setting it to drums, drum pads, ultra fat 808. I'm going to put claps on this track. I add claps on the second and fourth beat of the bar, then duplicate them out over the rest of the four bar clip. To duplicate notes or clips in BandLab, hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows, and then drag them over. On the next track, I put closed hats on every 16th note, with open hats at the end of every two bars. The next track is kicks. I put these on every beat with some additional ghost kicks. I turn the velocity of these down to 109, so they're not as loud as the main kicks. Next, I add side sticks. These play between the beats, with extra notes after the fourth hit on the first and third bars. Snares play every three sixteenth notes, resetting every half bar. For the second half of the second bar, just the first note is played. To give myself more headroom in the mix, I turn down all the ultra fat 808 tracks to minus 9 dB. Next, I want an open hat, but I want something a little different sounding. I open up BandLab Sounds and select the Loops tab. I enter Open Hat into the text search field. 909 Heat Open Hat 5 is the sort of sound I'm after, but I want to be able to trigger it myself. So I create a new sampler track and drag the loop into the first sampler pad. I move the sample start and sample end markers to the start and end of the first hat. I then sequence this to play between each beat. I turn this track down to minus 14 dB. Next, I'd like to add some music. I create an instrument track and select keyboards, pianos, Wurlitzer. To balance this track with the rest of the elements, I turn it down to minus 13 dB. I sequence a part that plays E suspended 4, D suspended 2, D major, and B minor in the first inversion. On the octave above, I add a descending melody that hits the suspended 2 over the first three chords, followed by the minor. I also add an ostinato on the octave above that plays E, B, F sharp, and E. I 
I want to make this sound more atmospheric, so I'm going to add some effects. In the effects panel, I add a modulation chorus ensemble. Then to mellow it out, I add a tone multi-filter, setting the frequency to 425 Hz. To add a room sound, I use Reverb Studio Reverb, with a mix of 4.2 and a size of 2.8. Then to tame the low end, I add a tone, EQ3M, turning the low down to minus 15.6 dB. I'd like a vocal next, so in BandLab Sounds, I clear the text search field and set the instrument filter to voice and the genre filter to hip hop trap. NOLA Bounce Voice 05 is just right, so I drag it into the project. BandLab automatically pitches the sample up to fit the key of the project, but in this case, I'd actually like the vocal to be lower pitched. I double click the audio clip to bring up the editor panel and turn down the pitch shifter parameter to zero. Then I turn this track down to minus 3 dB. The track is coming along, but I'd like to add some rhythm and texture in the drum department. I want to add a sampled house drum loop, so in BandLab Sounds, I clear the search filters and enter house drums into the text search field. Drum 125, drums 03, 4 bar has the feel I'm looking for, so I drag it into the project. I'd like it to sound lower pitched too so I turn it down to minus one semitones. I don't want the low end to interfere with the existing 808 kick, so I add a multi-filter effect, setting its mode to high pass and its frequency to 220 hertz. I turn this track down to minus four dB. For the final touch sound-wise, I'd like an impact effect to mark the start and end of every four bars. In BandLab Sounds, I enter Impact into the text search field, and drag Uncertain Impact 02 onto a new sampler track. I drag the sample end marker to the end of the first impact sound. I then sequence this to play the first and the last beat of the 4 bar clip. I turn this track down to minus 4.5 dB. Arrangement wise, I'm going to use a broad pattern of 16 bars of less intensity, followed by 32 bars of higher intensity. I start off with the clap, kick, keys, and impact effect. After eight bars, the open hats are added. On bar 17, the track switches gears to a high intensity mode with the addition of the hats, side stick, and house drum loop. After eight bars, the side stick is switched out for the snare and open hat. This pattern then repeats, this time with a vocal added. intensity section plays out as before, this time with the side stick coming in instead of the open hats. For the next high intensity section, the keys take a break, with the vocal coming in earlier instead. This time when the pattern repeats, 
the keys replace the vocal. You can fork this project and make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!